how to handle different snakes of different sizes. Um, right now I'm going to show you how to handle a mellow hatchling bow constrictor right now. Very, very, very easy. If you can bring the camera right over here. See this guy? She's a, actually a sheep. This is my uh, hold back. Get a little closer. This is my hold back uh, sunglow motley. She's extremely mellow, not aggressive, but very food aggressive. But uh, what I like to do is I don't pick them up from the head over here. I don't pick it up from the bottom of the tail. They want to feel safe and secure, so I pick it up mid body. And I go above, like this. Above. I don't go like straight forward near the head or, or anything like that. I don't want to freak her out or scare her or stress her out in any way. I'll take her mid body, just like this. Very gentle, very slow. And I pick her up like that. I always use two hands no matter what size the bow is. Yeah, you can do it with one hand like this if you want. But uh, if you're new at this, you definitely want to use two hands to make the snake feel nice and secure. Uh, as you can see that she's wrapping around with her tail right there. She's doing that to feel secure. And the body, you know, you can have it like this if you want. You can hang it like that. But they, they don't really like that. They're not tree snakes. They like to feel safe and secure. And uh, bowers will definitely explore your hand like this. That's how you really handle this size type of boa. Um, not all of them as, as easy or as calm. And I'll show you that in a second right now. Let me put this girl away. That's how you handle a mellow, that size snake. I'm going to show you something that's a little more aggressive that you really can't handle. As you can see, you can bring the camera right over here. See? This guy right here, you cannot put your hand straight forward because he will snap. And you can't really touch him like that. And I a lot, know a lot of people, especially with bull pythons, oh, just pick them up and they'll, they'll calm down. Watch. That doesn't always work with uh, uh, snakes. He would, see, he would reach around and even though I'm picking them up, he would reach around and bite me even though I'm in, 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 the, in even though that, that snake would be in my hand. So what I like to use, and what I like to utilize, is uh, a snake hook. You can get these snake hooks anywhere in any pet store. These are actually adjustable. It turns really small to really big. See, this one's very aggressive. So what I like to do with the snake hooks is um, I like to go like this, touch it, and rub it to let it know that you know I'm not food. And I'm not somewhat of a threat. I'm trying to hook train them a little bit. And what you want to do with these uh, hooks? Hook them up like mid body, just like I told told you guys with the um, the hands. You kind of hold it mid body and kind of pick it up like this. And what you could do with this, you could transfer it to a different uh, uh, tub. Like say if I want to transfer it to a uh, 15 quart, go like this, and just boom, transfer it there without getting bit. As you can see, she's this guy is very aggressive. And taming him down will be hard, um, but it's not impossible. That's how I like to handle these kind of uh, snakes of this size. Just they're still aggressive. And I leave them alone. All right, now we're going to move up to the uh, medium sized snakes. Alright, now this snake is a little bigger, well, a lot bigger than the hatchling uh, snake that you just saw not too long ago. This one, again, you don't want to go straight forward like that. Put your hand straight forward like that. You're just not with any animal, you don't want to do that. You want to come like behind, like mid by See how curious this snake is? He feeds like a beast and he thinks it's feeding time. But it's not. I like to go, I like to touch him at first to let him know, listen, I'm not prey, I'm not a mouse, I'm not a rat, I'm a human being. He's flickering his tongue so he's getting the scent of my body so he knows that I'm not food right off the bat. They're not stupid. So like I said, mid body, like this. I'm going to do this one handed because, uh, I'm holding the camera right now. So you hold it mid-body. And they feel nice, safe, and secure. And you can walk with the snake just like this with no problems at all. Just hold it. Nice, safe, and secure. Make sure you have it in the mid-body. You don't want to grab by the tail like this. I'll give you a horrible example. Like this, where his body's all swinging around. It's not comfortable for the snake. It's not comfortable or secure for the snake. So I'm going to... These snakes are really like to move but you get the point what I'm saying mid body two hands for uh, to make the snake feel nice safe and secure and just 
Boom. This girl That's right it. here is my female sub-adult sun glow 100% head leopard. Um, this one's a lot bigger. This one, again, you definitely need two hands with this one right here. Uh, she's not aggressive. She's flicking her tongue. She knows I'm here. Like I said, I'll give her a little rub, just like this. A little rub. Let her know who I am, what I am, and all that stuff. Let her get the scent of me. And then again, mid-body. Not, not the head. Don't grab by the head. Don't grab by the tail. Mid-body. Because these are very uh, earthy species of snake. And uh, if you come here, you hold her with two hands. One in the mid-body and one, one leg right here at the end. Make her feel nice and secure. As you can see, she's not flaring around. She's not whipping around. She's moving really because she's freaked out. That's because she's feeling secure. And they're gonna climb up your shoulder. They're gonna climb around your neck. That's just that's just how these bowls are. That's how these snakes are. They're very they can tell you they love to move. You can put them around your neck. But again, you know, because you got your shoulders right here in the mid body and at the end. So it kind of makes them feel secure. Take a move like this. Again, two hands, mid body, and at the end, and boom. You can just put her back right here. And that, that's all it takes. You know, and you can use snake hooks with this one as well, but the snake hooks I have is not as big. And what you would do with the snake hooks, again, you would, you would let you know that you're not prey. Go try, go try to get away. You kind of rub her like this and then you grab her mid-body. Sometimes if they're really, really big, you have to use two snake hooks. So uh, I don't really have two snake hooks. I don't really deal with, with hooks too much, but that's how you deal with this kind of snake. All right. All right, now this one right here is my adult female Angolan Piper. Uh, she was aggressive since day one. As you can see, she's looking to strike at me right now. Some snakes are just meant to be left alone. And this is one of the females, but I'd rather really not pick up. Um, this one, <clears throat> if I pick her up, she's a python, so if I pick her up, she kind of mellows out a little bit. She doesn't look to strike at me. But when she's at her tub right now, she's looking to strike. Like I said, you don't want to bring your hand straight forward towards her face because she will snap at you and bite you. Um, you don't want to reach at the tail because she'll whip around and um, freak out. Like, watch. As you can see, touch her tail, she did not like that. But I'll show you, if I go mid-body, she'll feel a lot more comfortable. Now I'm gonna one-hand it right now, which I really don't recommend, but I'm holding the camera, so I have no choice. So, uh, let me just, see she's looking at me and she's following my hand. So what I'll do, I'll utilize the snake hook, kind of push her head down a little bit, you know, get her out of that aggressive stance, and I'll pick her up mid-body. See, she is hissing right now. And boom. No longer aggressive, no longer looking to strike at me. Uh, it's really hard to do this with one hand, but I'm holding her mid-body, and she's not hissing or striking at me anymore. But the moment I put her down, let me put her over here. the moment I put her down, she's very cage aggressive and territorially aggressive right now. Like if I touch her tail. See, she's going back to hissing. And uh, she will whip around and uh, strike at me if she gets the opportunity to. Uh, if I, I could really, really mellow her out if I want to, but you know she's she's comfortable here. Uh, this size enclosure I feel is proper for her because she um, I put her try to put her 41 and she didn't eat too well, so uh, she's comfortable right here. As you can see, she's in the aggressive stance again, and uh, yeah, there you go. See how she's coiling up? She's looking to strike at me. Well, she, she's a sweetheart, and I'm planning to breed her this season. Well, what else can I tell you? Um, oh, here we go. <clears throat> These guys right here are my Walmart pythons. They're very food aggressive. So you definitely got to let your presence be known and, um, and your scent to be smelled. Like, I did, like I'm doing right now. I'm touching her. She, she knows I'm not a rat. Or she'll just come to the cage and strike at it with, with no problems. Uh, I'll hold her right here mid-body. Like I said, mid-body. And it'll be fine. That's all. So, 
like I said, two hands, mid-body to the end of the body. Um, don't pick her up just by the tail. Don't pick her up just by the uh, uh, the head or anything like that. Mid-body, two hands at all times. And uh, that's what it takes, guys. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything like that, let me know. Inbox me in the description down below, and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you, guys, and subscribe.